What is up guys, Melek here, and today we are back in action playing some Subnautica. It's going to be freaking amazing if you guys enjoy. Make sure to smash the like button, I'd really appreciate it, and help me out tremendously. Uh, so, today we are going to be ta taking a look at the new machinery update, uh, and also starting a new series. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you're excited about that. I have no idea how often we're going to post this. Uh, but see, I need to actually rebuild kind of the base. I kind of want to get back to where we were, and then we're kind of going to kind of explore the new features in the update. Now, uh, some of the new features in the machinery update is the you like the thermal reactor, the nuclear reactor, and the bioreactor now have new models, and you can kind of uh, place them in different areas now. Uh, also, the Cyclops has had a major update, and then some of the new creatures that I showed before are now in Subnautica, so that's actually really, really cool. Also, you can find, like, other life pods and stuff, too, so that's one of the reasons I wanted to start a new world is because they've kind of changed the way you uh, do, uh, like, find fragments. They're all, like, in crash and crashes and wrecks and stuff like that. And uh, there's new life pods and stuff, so I needed to kind of, like, update my game, and uh, it wouldn't work with a previous save. So we have started. Uh, we are in the new. Uh, re we are in this li this life pod right here. Let's go ahead and grab this stuff. Also, I noticed. Um, looks like the inventory is bigger. I could be wrong. Uh, it could just be organized in a, in a different way. But it kind of looks like the inventory is a little bit bigger. Also, in the last video I covered, you can actually equip oxygen tanks now. Now, the way this differs is a currently equipped oxygen tank will be all the oxygen you can have. So if you put on a normal oxygen tank, you're going to get like um, 30 extra oxygen, right? So I'd had 75. Now, if I wanted to use multiple oxygen tanks, I would ha actually have to uh, replace them in and out of the inventory. So yeah, that's a thing. Uh, so besides that, besides everything I just talked about, I'm not sure if uh, what else is new. So we're going to kind of explore and check everything out. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. You can press F6 to get rid of that. And uh, I am getting amazing frames right now. We are currently getting uh, over 100 frames, uh, which is pretty sweet. Uh, also, I'm kind of just generally curious to see like how the terrain has changed and everything like that. Anyways, I think we're going to I think I'm gonna head to the island. Uh, we're gonna head over there, and then I'm going to start building uh, the base kind of back to to the where it was a little bit, not fully obviously, but we're gonna kind of build it back to where it was. And uh, I'm probably gonna use creative mode to uh, get everything back. Also, there's the Aurora right there, which is awesome. Also, this is Life Pod 5, and we, we will be able to find other Life Pods as we explore, so that's going to be pretty awesome. Okay, guys, we're back. So, the first thing I wanted to show you is you can actually use your aquariums uh, to produce power now. Now, depending on the, the, the thing that you use to actually produce power, uh, you can breed fish and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the Reginald, as you guys know that I've proved before, is the most val valuable fish when it comes to food. It gives the most food out of any other fish in Subnautica. At least it used to. I haven't tested it recently. Uh, but you can actually use these guys inside of the bioreactor. So, if I go ahead and stick some Reginalds inside of this guy, it's going to turn the Reginalds into, I guess, bioreactor fuel. So that's kind of cool. You can use like plants, uh, spores, so you can set up a bunch of different types of plants to do this. I'll uh, Somewhere on the screen, I'll throw up like a list of all the different things you can use. You can also use uh, special creatures like stalkers or... Um, you know, anything like that. Bone sharks. Actually, I'm not sure about bone sharks, but you can use uh, a bunch of different types of creatures to do it. I think the best, let me look here real quick. The best is the reef back at 1,000 power. Uh, crab snake is 900. Sand shark slash gasopod is 800. Jelly rate is 600. You guys kind of get the idea. I'll throw up the list up on the screen here in a second. Uh, so, yeah, you can start breeding your fish, your beautiful creatures, and produce power in the bioreactor, which is really, really cool. Uh, you can also grow grow plants to produce power. Now this guy, the nuclear reactor, takes uh, it's different than what it was before. Before it took distilled water and I think uranium. Now it uses reactor rods, and you actually have to craft these guys. The way you craft them is you come in here into uh, yeah right here e electronics. So you see a, a reactor rod. It requires uranium, lead, and titanium. So no more distilled water is required. You can make up to four and stick four into uh, the reactor. The more you have, the more power it's going to actually produce, uh, which is definitely really really cool. Now let's go ahead and put these guys in here. Boom! Uh, reactor rod, reactor rod. So now it is going to produce the max amount of power. If we come out of creative no mode, it's going to show us... Actually, no, survival, right? Yeah, survival. There we go. So it should start showing us what our power is. So right now, our power is uh, 300 out of 900. It's slowly going, uh, slowly going up. 
and uh, this guy is producing power, so that's actually really cool. Um, I guess the next thing, the last thing I want to show you as far as power is concerned is the thermal reactor. Now, the thermal reactor does exactly the same thing, except for it just looks differently now. The cool thing about the bio and the nuclear is they're actually built inside the base now instead of outside the base. Also, you have to use uh, build them inside of these giant multi-purpose rooms. You can't build them anywhere else. And then we should grab this, and we shall set it, like, right here. So it looks different, um, but it definitely, I think it looks really cool. I love the new models. Uh, the old models were just kind of placeholders, and I thought they looked, they weren't textured or anything. They looked kind of bad. It's kind of cool that they've added all this stuff in, made them look really awesome and that kind of stuff. Um, so you can't actually access this guy. Uh, this guy is going to produce power kind of like the solar panels up here. It's going to produce power passively, and it depends on the temperature of the area. So as you can see right now, uh, it's currently, because I have a thermometer actually equipped, it's currently uh, 10 Celsius, uh, which I don't think is near hot enough. You have to go to, like, the... The hot springs or something like that, and this guy is going to produce a lot of power, so that's going to be really, really cool. I guess another thing I want to show you guys is, let's come in here. The scanner room is now complete. Before we checked it out, it wasn't complete. Before, you couldn't actually put in scanner room upgrades. You can stick up to four upgrades. There's speed, range, all of that kind of stuff, and you can craft the upgrades inside of the fabricator that's built inside of the room here. So as you see, scanner room, uh, room HUD chip, if you make this guy like so, uh, and you can actually equip it. Let me go ahead and get out of here. Let's go ahead and equip this guy. Scanner room HUD chip. Uh, let's go ahead and de-equip this and then re-equip that guy. And it's, uh, as soon as you start scanning stuff, let's just go ahead and scan things. Let's come over here. Let's say we're looking for, I don't know, metal salvage. It's going to start scanning. And it, you'll slowly see things pop up around the area around uh, where you're at, like here. And then our HUD should actually show us as this is scanning. Uh, where it is as we're out uh, kind of like going and doing our business or whatever. Let's go and come over here. Let's uh, exit the place and then maybe, yeah, as you see, Metal Savage uh, scout, uh, Salvage on my HUD right here. So that's actually really useful. Um, so it kind of like uh, sends updates to your helmet and you can kind of find where all the stuff is. So that's uh, really, really awesome. Of course, there's no Metal Salvage right here, but you guys get the idea. There's some over there. Uh, it might actually be underneath this or something. I'm not sure. Uh, it could be in like a cave or something like that. Uh, so yeah, that's actually really, really cool. The other upgrades are, let's come over here. Uh, we have a camera drone, so we can make a camera drone. We actually checked the camera drones out. They're actually really, really cool. We can also make a scanner room upgrade range, and then we can do upgrade speed. Let's go ahead and do a couple ranges, and we'll do a couple speeds and see how much faster it is and how much bigger of an area it actually does. So you can kind of like mix and match these upgrades to whatever you feel like uh, you need. Let's go ahead and stick these guys in here. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. So it shows that those are filled up, and these guys should be uh, working faster. Let's go ahead and ch uh, let's cancel the scanning. Let's do, uh, no, not salt. Let's do quartz right here. So it should be faster, and it should be a bigger area. And it definitely actually looks like a bigger area as well. So, yeah, this is how you can find resources near your base, which is pretty cool. Now, this is only going to show the resources uh, that is actually around your base. If we were in a different biome, this would be a different list of resources, like uranium and diamonds and stuff like that if we were in the, um, the Grand Reef or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, so that's how you use that. That's actually really, really awesome. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys, actually, there's two more things I want to show you guys, is if we come out here, we have a waterproof locker. Now, they've updated this. Let's go and stick this in the first... Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, you just throw it out, and it just kind of floats and does its thing. So you can name this. Uh, it's a four. Oh no! Let's uh, pick up. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. Let's see. So in edit locker label. Let's go ahead and open storage right there. And I see it's a little. Uh, I guess it's a yeah. It's a four by four. So that's pretty awesome. Nice. I'm not sure if it does anything else. So we can pick it up. Uh, we can open the storage, and we can edit the label. And it definitely looks really, really cool. Uh, so, and then I, from what I know, they haven't done anything different with the sea moths. And then the last thing I want to show you guys is the Cyclops. They've actually done some updates to that guy. So let's just go ahead and set it today. And there we go. We have a Cyclops. Awesome. So let's go in here. I actually have not seen the Cyclops yet. I do know some of the changes that they have made, but I'm kind of excited about seeing it uh, for myself Welcome for the first time. So, yeah, uh, we uh, everything everything seems normal so far. We have a dude. Uh, let's see, open storage. So it has built-in storage now. So these are actually real storage lockers, which I think is really really cool. Um, yeah, like right there. Boom. Yeah, those are real storage. Let's go ahead and come back here, 
Uh, you can obviously still place more storage on here if you want. So some of the upgrades that the Cyclops includes is it can actually go up to a depth of 500 meters by default now. Also, uh, you can't actually make the new pressure compensators yet. Uh, so I was hoping that 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 would be added soon, or at least in this update. Uh, it's probably going to come out soon. I'm not exactly sure when, though, because there's actually two more pressure compensators that are, like, far more advanced than these guys. I went and added these guys. We'll go ahead and take them out if you want to see the default thing. So with four of these guys, it can go up to four or uh, 900 meters. And then with this guy right here, it can just go up to 500. So, yeah, that's actually uh, pretty cool. So this is 900 meters. Oh, it looks like... It looks like each of these guys don't actually change anything, which is very interesting. I'm not sure. I feel like this should be going up, but maybe that's a bug. I'm not sure. Or maybe you need to do the upgraded uh, compensators. I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's come in here. Everything this way actually looks the same now one thing that they have done is it has better proximity sensors uh, so it's going to tell you like what's around or I guess like what's hurting you and that kind of stuff uh, but there's also uh, hull cameras so this is camera one uh, as you can see, as we're moving around, uh, we are in the, the back, or I guess the bottom of the ship, so we can kind of see underneath of us, which is really cool. Um, and then, let's see, camera three, nice. This is this is the very back of the Cyclops, so we can see behind us. Let's go ahead and go to camera two. Oh, this is, oh, this is the top of the, the Cyclops. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, so uh, kill, uh, screw, and then uh, coning tower. Nice. Okay, so it looks like there's three. Uh, and it actually shows us the direction. If you look in the bottom right, there's a little thing that shows us which direction we are actually looking uh, compared to where the Cyclops is actually facing, which is really, really cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that's that's actually really awesome. I love the, the cameras are really sweet. I like how it's like uh, as you're driving, it's uh, just part of the HUD right here. That's actually pretty sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead and get off this guy. And I think that about covers everything in the update, guys. Uh, you can still turn the lights on and off. So uh, if you're gonna let me, yeah, there we go. Let's go and, and um, are you are you gonna are you gonna turn off? Why you know why you know turn off? Um, you can still turn the lights on and off. I just did a second ago. You can still change the colors and do that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much everything it, uh, that has to deal with the Cyclops. Um, so I think what we're gonna do now is I'm going to start a new world. Uh, I, I see I went I learned all the engrams so I could show you guys all the stuff So we're gonna start a new world. I am going to head to the island and uh, we are going to try to start building on the island I think that's gonna be pretty sweet Oh, yeah One thing I forgot to mention is if you've never seen my previous video where I check out the cameras or if you've never seen the cameras in action at all uh, You can just come over here uh, each of these uh, little buildings right here actually come with two cameras So one on each side so we can uh, connect to camera one and then we can kind of like Go out. This is where the camera docks. Is that little thing right there? And uh, yeah, there we go. So we're we're actually the camera now, which is kind of cool. And this can only go to a certain distance away. Uh, once you, I think I think it was 500 meters that we figured out. They could have updated that by now. Uh, but once you uh, go up to like I think 500 meters, uh, you start to lose signal. And then you're once you lose signal, you're gonna have to retrieve the cameras by hand. Uh, but you can actually go out and kind of like explore an area if you're if you don't feel I guess safe enough to. Um, explore it by yourself or whatever or if maybe you want to go into like a tight space these guys are kind of cool with that uh, so let's go and cycle to camera two. Oh no yeah there we go there's camera two I, I guess I wasn't close enough or something um, so now we are in part of uh, we are a part of camera two and then we can actually go see what uh... wait where am I um... what why is why is camera two all the way over here what the heck how did that happen um, let's, uh, let's come back over here, and then we're gonna see what camera one actually looks like. Oh, camera one is actually being attacked by a stalker right now. Let's go back to camera two. We can see it. Wait, where is this guy at? Uh, yeah, there he is. He's actually, he's being drugged underground to the, the stalker's lair. Uh, so stalkers apparently don't like cameras very much. Um, he's completely destroying the camera right now. Uh, what's happening? Okay, it does the oh, so the cameras do have health and energy, so you're gonna have to redock them if you want to uh, uh, heal them slash uh, recharge them. So yeah, that's kind of cool that stuff attacks them. That's really awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna pause it and we'll be right, right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So uh, she's talking right now. Um, <laughs> uh, I think the roar is about to explode here pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I think what we we'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and call it here We're gonna say this is just the video for the new machinery update and uh, Next video we're actually gonna start new uh, start a new series and try to find 
all of the new stuff. So I'm, the way we're going to do it is we're going to start fresh, and that means I'm going to have to get all of the new uh, or all of the fragments and all that kind of stuff over again uh, because they've kind of changed the way everything works. So I kind of want to like just see the way how uh, everything you know functions now, the where everything's at, and that kind of stuff uh, because it's kind of like a different game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Help me out tremendously, and I will see you guys in the next one. One thing I want to do is let's just go ahead and get some food real quick before we do anything else. Let's go ahead and get a cooked peeper. Yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe we'll get a couple cooked peepers. Yes, and uh, I'm going to kind of like get some of our stuff back by uh, building in creative. As you can see, I actually built this in creative. Uh, but starting next episode, we're going to start like how to get started, you know, that kind of stuff. And then we're just going to kind of like experience and enjoy the new updates together and see, you know, everything that has to offer. I think it's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, right now, it doesn't have any power because we need to actually scan some solar panels and uh, build some power this way. But uh, once we kind of like get, we're going to like slowly progress and then uh, we're going to go to the island and I'm probably going to use creative to kind of like uh, build our base on the island or whatever. So yeah, that's going to be a thing. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed if you did make sure to smash the like button i'll see you guys in the next one i might have already said that i don't know it's late i'm tired um <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed